right, what's up guys? We're back in the renovation basement where we belong. So, um, Tuesday training. What we are going to do, again, uh, going forward, you're gonna see these options where you have in the gym stuff and then at home stuff. So we're gonna continue with that format for foreseeable future. Um, so you're gonna start off with a four minute row, getting faster every one minute. If you're at home, you're gonna run. So you're gonna go for a run for four minutes, getting faster every minute. So try and run out for about two, and then come back for about two. When you get back in, you're gonna do 90 seconds of inchworms. So grabbing the toes, walking out, dropping the hips, taking a big breath, letting it out, and then back up all the way to your toes. 90 seconds, then you're gonna do one minute of glute bridges. So down on the ground, feet in your squat stance, squeeze your butt, keep your belly tucked the whole time, back down, active belly in the bottom, same thing again. Then we're gonna hit some iron cross. So straight leg coming across, switch legs, same thing. And then for one minute, I'm gonna perform a little mini air wrap of 10 shoulder taps and 10 scat push-ups. So from a high plank position, I'm going to shoulder tap, five per side, and then I'm gonna scat push-up for 10 reps. And I'm gonna work through that for a minute. So I'm gonna hold a plank for the whole minute with the caveat of doing my taps <clears throat> and doing my scat push-ups while I go through that. Now, strength work today. Three rounds, you're gonna do 10 deadlifts with a slow descent, and you're gonna do 10 single arm rows with a two second hold at the top. So, a couple things here. If you're at home, you're gonna do 10 single leg deadlifts per side with a slow descent. If you're in the gym, you're gonna do 10 deadlifts at a moderate weight with a slow descent. Keep in mind, if you haven't deadlifted in a while, don't go too heavy, you'll be very, very sore. So again, you haven't done a heavy deadlift in a while, so don't go crazy on the weight, just get things moving again. Uh, a couple things to keep in mind on the deadlift, single leg or double leg. Most important thing is that in the bottom, I have maintained a perfectly neutral spine. So my shoulder blades are locked down. I'm kind of pressing my elbows down towards my knees, towards my thighs, and I've got my belly tight so that my back is flat in this bottom position. And that's true in my setup off the floor or in the bottom of my single leg deadlift. And either way, I want my shin basically vertical to the ground. I don't want to see it forward or backward. I want it standing just about straight up. And then again, this is a posterior exercise, so I want to see the hamstrings and the booty engaged. That's where you should feel it. So from here down to here, that's where you're looking to feel that tension. Now, for the single arm rows, again, 10 on each arm with a two second hold at the top. If you're in the gym, you can do single arm rows at your station. You can do barbell rows in your quadrant. Or if you want to head over to the pull-up rig, you can do ring rows with a two second hold at the top. So again, one, two, back down, making them as challenging as you can. And if you have not done a strict pull-up in a very long time because you didn't have access to a pull bar during quarantine, you are more than welcome to do anywhere from five to 10 strict pull-ups per set. So that's up to you guys. Got a lot of options for those pulling variations, especially if you're heading into the gym tomorrow. Um, now, for your conditioning. So that's your strength work, three sets. After this, for the workout, your conditioning is gonna be three rounds for total time, and there's gonna be mandatory rest in between rounds. So how this is gonna work, if you're in the gym, 20 calories on a machine, grab yourself a bike or an assault bike or a skier or whatever, have fun. Um, 20 calories, after that you've got 10 alternating devil's presses and then you've got 10 burpee box jumps. And then you have to rest for two minutes before you complete round two and then rest for two minutes before you complete round three. So <clears throat> again, if this workout was just three rounds for time, you would do everything slower because you would be trying to pace it out, trying to survive the whole workout and keep a steady pace. But because we've given you rest, we are saying, I dare you to go faster. So I dare you to make each round uncomfortable and stay at a pace that is definitely not something that's all that sustainable because you know that you've got rest coming up, you've got time to sit on your box and try and catch your breath. Now, for the machine, if you're at home, you're gonna do plyo step-ups, 40 total, so 20 on each leg. 
And again, the plot of step up is going to be here. But ideally, again, I'm fully extending my hips and my legs at the top. Again, I'm not. After that, you've got 10 alternating devil's press, and that's going to be the same whether you're in the gym or at home, so it doesn't matter, 10 alternating devil's press. Um, what you can do here, again, barbell or dumbbell, it's going to be up to you guys, or sorry, uh, kettlebell or dumbbell, not, not a barbell. Don't do a barbell devil's press, that won't end well. Um, now, for the alternating devil's press, again, that means I'm going to switch hands on the ground every time, but a devil's press is a burpee into a ground to overhead. So from here, if this is my dumbbell, I'm going to go ahead, burpee, hands on it, chest to deck. I'm going to come up, wide stance, so I've got room for that object between my legs. And from here, I'm going to hike, get ready, swing, and up overhead to full lockout. Then I will come back, switch. Other hand, down for my next rep, all the way up overhead, back down, switch again. Ten reps, so five on each side. Keep in mind that that exercise is pretty hard to do fast. You just kind of have to grunt through it and try and keep the steady pace the whole time. And then after that, you've got ten burpee box jumps facing your box in your quadrant of the gym. And if you're at home, again, just stack up an object that you can jump to best as you can. So find a bench, find a big rock, uh, some stairs, something like that. Um, and then you've got your mandatory two minute rest. So again, alternating devil's press, you can only do them so fast. It's kind of a methodical movement, which means these other two movements are fast. So you're trying to push the pace on the machine and you're trying to push the pace on those burpee box jumps, staying really uncomfortable the whole time. So if you're in the gym doing this workout, I would go with a machine pace that makes you question your sanity. That's my recommendation. Now, for the accessory work, three rounds. We're gonna do 20 reverse flies. So again, I'm gonna hinge over, find some light objects, five pound plates, water jugs, and I'm just gonna find a T position, back down, T, back down. When I'm in the bottom, my back should be locked in and I should be posturally perfect. So again, chest is nice and proud, proud, shoulder blades are drawn down and back, and then when I make my T, I hold that position and then force that position at the top. So what I don't want to do is this. I don't want to see that spine flexing in the bottom of the reverse plat. Now, <clears throat> after that, you've got your leg curls. So you can do some banded leg curls. So if you have a band, loop it around an object like a pole. Legs will be straight out in front of you, bands around your feet, and you're just going to pull towards you. Back out, pull towards you. And that's going to be one way to hit your hamstring curl. Your other way is going to be to do sliding floor curls. So again, find a slippery surface at home, toss a towel or a t-shirt down on it, and then you'll go from a laying position here, and I will simultaneously pull with my heels and keep my hips off the ground. I can't do it right now because it's not going to work, but I'll try that. It's not very slippery, but you get it. That's kind of the idea that we're going for is that the hips should leave the ground right as the heel starts to move towards you. And then your other option is going to be a partner assisted variation. So if I were to lay down on my stomach like this here, I could have my partner place their hands on my heels. And then when you go to do your hamstring curl, they just pull against your feet a little bit. So again, you'll lay down like this, pull to 90 degrees, back down, and your partner will just be pulling on your heels to help give you a little bit of resistance. So that's your accessory work. And then lastly, all we have is a little mobility. So you're going to do a two minute seated straddle. So that's going to be sitting on the ground, legs out wide to the side, just trying to reach forward or off to either one of these legs for two minutes. And then you've got an elbow to instep for one minute per side. So again, long lunge, drop down, get that stretch. So that's your training. Oh, Tuesday. Enjoy. Hopefully we'll see you guys soon. If not, stay in touch. Keep tagging us. Keep being active on social media. And hopefully we'll see you guys in a few weeks. Tag us, palace.fitness, forged by Zeus. And we'll see you guys back tomorrow.